Hello everyone, this is Big Mama Sag from Fire Sign Tarot. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. How's everybody doing? Are we fabulous? I'm pretty fabulous. This reading will be for Cancer. It will be your Julian New Year reading, okay? Now you're asking yourself, what is the Julian New Year? Well, quite a few years ago, we started what is called the Gregorian calendar. And the, the big things behind it were um, trying to eliminate like a leap year situation and trying to find a designated date to celebrate Easter. Well, both things completely impossible, but neither here nor there. I'll get farther into that history lesson when Nian and I do our live special on March 31st. And we're doing a live on March 31st for one of two reasons. Well, actually, multiple reasons, but two big reasons are to celebrate Julian New Year, which in tradition fell on um, like the last week in March. It was the big celebration for New Year's before the Gregorian calendar took over. And two, because our one year anniversary was the 5th of March. So, yeah, pretty excited. We didn't start uploading videos until April, though, because it was the middle of a retrograde and we were having technical issues and all that happy jazz. But, again, neither here nor there. Enough about that. Cancer. This will be your reading. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to you the cards if you choose to do anything at all. It's your journey, not mine. I just read the cards, but please keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things may be vice versa. If it does not resonate, throw it out altogether. Check your moon, rising, your Venus signs. I'm not going to twist anybody's arm. I just read the cards. It's your journey, not mine, kids. So, yeah. All right, move some stuff up here. Get it out of my way. Okay. Cancer. Yes. Love and manifestation. That's awesome. Sorry, I had to check that. It was work. That's awesome. Manifesting love and new possibilities, perhaps? Deep emotions. We need some clarity on that. If I were you, I'd be careful what you wish for. But that's just me. Where were we supposed to take out of last year? Five of Cups. Coming out of a state of sadness. What was your shining moment? Two of cups reversed. A disconnect? How is a disconnect a shining moment? What did you have to let go of? Seven of cups. Huh. Confusion, things being up in the air. Options. Maybe you discovered you had a few too many options and had to let a few of them go. This is why we get clarity, kids. What are you supposed to take out of this year? What can you expect? Chariot. Your card, Cancer. Some of you could be traveling. There could be communication coming in or being sent over great distance. It's a card of forward movement. Or being pulled in two different directions. 
This horse is kind of look like one's going one way, one's going the other way. So take it however resonates. Just throwing that out there. Challenge for the new year. Four of Pentacles. Could have to do with money. I'm thinking this has to do with emotions, though. How do you overcome this challenge? Seven of Pentacles reversed. I don't want to speak on that before I get clarifiers on them. What is your focus during this transition period as Pisces enters Aries? King of Pentacles. Something good is coming for you. How do you handle this? Three of Swords reversed. Alright. We're going to save this to the end. Throw some clarifiers down. Okay. very hard for me to hold back until the clarifiers get on the table because I know what I'm seeing <laughs> but five of wands and a three of pentacles nothing comes easy does it Laying foundations, unity. But there's always conflict involved, isn't there? No matter what you do, it seems like you're ruffling somebody's feathers. Okay. Why is the Five of Cups here for what Cancer is supposed to take out of last year? reversed coming out of a state of sadness loss of passion for something something coming to a dead stop not moving forward with something I sense there may be an avoidance of conflict with this. Again, no matter what you do, you ruffle somebody's feathers. Why is the Two of Cups reversed here for your shining moment, Cancer?
Dragon Sword reversed. And death reversed. I'm catching a sense that somebody wasn't evolving at the rate of the other person. Like, somebody realized the other person wasn't going to change, and somebody got cut out. Like, somebody said enough's enough. You're never going to change, I'm done. Like, total cut off in communication. Total disconnect. And I think you made that decision, Cancer. I think you evolved spiritually faster than the other party. And that's a shining moment. It's not necessarily a bad thing when you got to cut somebody out. Especially if it's not serving your spiritual purpose. It's not a bad thing. Can it be painful? Yeah, but it's not necessarily bad. So please don't look at it as a bad thing. Why is the Seven of Cups here for what you had to let go of? Whoa, hi. The Nine of Wands and the Devil flopped out. You had to let go of a toxic connection. You had to let go of confusion and mixed emotions. I'm hearing walking on eggshells. You had to throw your walls up. You just, you just had to let go. I'm done. I can't see you as an option anymore. This is too toxic. Could be a Capricorn you're dealing with. I also have Scorpio and Aries on the board. I, I got a little bit of everybody. Why is it here for what cancer can expect this year? Why is the chariot here for what cancer can expect this year? Thank you. Two cards. Five of cups reversed and the three of wands reversed. No longer waiting, coming out of the state of sadness, moving forward. Forward movement. Coming out of a state of sadness, no longer waiting at the dock for that person that's not going to change. You're picking up, you're dusting off, you're getting back in your chariot, you're moving on, and that's a beautiful thing. Judgment was flipped out at the top of my deck. The universe possibly could have called for this. Either you were going to do something about it, or the universe was going to do something about it. Either way, you ended a cycle. You ended a cycle of toxicity here. That's cool. That's cool. <coughs> Get back in there. I didn't ask a question yet. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? For the challenge. I think your challenge is you're still holding on to how bad that hurt. You could still very well be holding on to the emotions that are going along with it. 
High Priestess reversed and the Four of Wands. Doors are opening for you. Don't ignore the signs. Pardon me. Don't get so wrapped up in how bad this hurt and hold on to those emotions and allow those emotions to hold you back from a door that's opening for you. Don't close yourself off to your intuition. You will know. Cancers, you're very intuitive. You will know. Don't ignore what your intuition is trying to tell you. Because you're still in pain. You're picking up, you're dusting off, you're moving on. Just keep moving on. How do you overcome this challenge? Seven of Pentacles reversed. Why is the Seven of Pentacles reversed here? Strength. It just didn't fruit. Could be a Leo you're dealing with. Taming the beast within. One more on that, please. Oh, you didn't pop out. One more. alchemist. A magician. You get a magician up here. You have to accept that this didn't fruit and find the strength to manifest what you want in your life. You hold the keys to your own destiny, Cancer. And you're packing the chariot up anyway. You closed this out. You, you were done. Somebody in this scenario was done. So you have to continue to be done. Except that it didn't fruit. Forward. Okay. That's how you overcome the challenge of harboring those old emotions. Don't harbor the old emotions and take them into the next relationship because it's no way to enter a relationship if you have all this leftover crap. That's that's how you manifest not so happy endings. If you recycle the same old feelings over and over and over again. You gotta release it, you gotta let it go. What do you need to focus on during this transition, King of Pentacles? Why is the King of Pentacles here? You... You're acting like you want to talk. Seven of Wands reversed. One more. Two of Pentacles and the Five of Swords. You need to focus on just finding your balance, picking up the pieces, working on you, concentrating on you. Building your empire, getting money in the bank. And... Why is the Seven of Wands here? Why is the Seven of Wands here? Why is the Seven of Wands here? Wheel of Fortune, Eight of Cups, Two of Cups. Okay. Except that you only had so much control over the situation behind you. Move forward.
close that cycle out. And eventually, you'll reconnect with someone else again. You'll find that connection again. But you have to work on you first. You need to concentrate on working on you. When you stop looking, it comes to you. Wow, that was a lot of clarity on one little card. Go away. Thank you. Three of Swords Reverse. Why is the Three of Swords Reverse here for how to handle this transition? Coming out of a state of heartbreak. On universe seriously oh there it goes Empress reversed Six of Cups upright, one more. Okay, I'll take two. Come out of the state of heartbreak, accept that this was not meant to grow. Take the happy memories with you. Move forward. And allow balance to restore. See all that? There's like a lot of glare. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> Get some advice and call it a day. Accept it for what it was. The cup's empty. The cup was never meant to be filled. The cup got dumped. Take it however you want. Accept it for what it is. And move forward with what the universe is trying to hand you. And by the looks of things over here, the universe is about to hand you something beautiful. They're going to manifest something beautiful in your life. And that's awesome. lost it. Oh well. We knew what was there. Okay. Cancer. <laughs> I lost the freaking card. This has been your Julia New Year reading. You know how much I love you guys. You guys have been a huge support. Huge. Over the last year. I am eternally grateful. All of us here at Fire Sky and Terror are eternally grateful for you guys. We love you to bits. Okay. Um. 
catch us on our live or for our live on March 31st. The time of that will be announced as it gets closer and we get our schedules all worked out. Thanks again and I'll catch you next time.